from George Martirano and Mountain Free World after being in a cage for a very, very, very long time. I said three varies, that means each vary was a decade. So that's three decades, over 30 years. First progress report I ever received in solitary, my release date said released upon death. Nicodemus Starfo comes into play in 1981 and really changes the face of organized crime in Philadelphia. Everybody wanted to thump their chest and say, I'm the toughest guy on crime. End of story. Nicodemo, little Nicky Scarfo, headed back toward Philadelphia, where he's alleged boss of the mafia. And law enforcement officials are bracing for the next episode in a mob war that has left 18 men dead in the last four years. So, you know, George's uh, father was apparently allegedly involved with the mob. That spilled over into his case. That should never have spilled over into this case. To go in front of Judge Hannum on an open plea with no agreement, you had to be out of your mind. That was all coordinated in the back room between the prosecutor, my lawyer who sold me out, the judge, Washington. They devised this big plan that the only one that could bring down the Philly mob was me and they had to break me. Dad was a very stern, strict father. And that's the way he handled things as a judge. They don't care about you're getting life without parole or you have a family or you have a wife, kids, mother who's going to cry. It's about career. I prosecuted George Mortarano and I prosecuted him and I worked with the FBI in the investigation of George Mortarano in 1983. These were conversations that two FBI agents recorded. It was an undercover investigation and they recorded his words, his words. The law is made for people. The law was first. Capital L, capital A, capital W. Uh, he, I think, serves as a cautionary tale to what our justice system can become if it's uh, not, you know, carefully monitored and if we don't keep our eye on the, the purpose of the justice system, uh, which is not to be gratuitously punitive, but to actually enact justice. I ate soup out of the same bowl for 15 years. I had my initials carved in the bottom of the bowl. I really liked that bowl. I saved it a few times during shakedowns because it was a ceramic bowl. And uh, when you get the prison shakedown, you know, they, uh, they handcuff you and they take you out of the cell and they shake the cell down, the whole cell block. And they have confiscate things that they think that you shouldn't have. So I saved that bowl more than once. I had to try to retrieve it, go talk to the guard, but, but, but. So I gave the bowl to a friend of mine. I said, every time you make soup, a meal, when you get to that bottom, you see my initials, that's hope. I said, when you see GM, I said, you can keep going. I said, this bowl is going to make you make it. 